This is officially the first grade 12 acid base video. If you are a grade 12 learner watching this, I would highly suggest that you first watch the grade 11 videos. There aren't too many of them, but it will give you a very nice foundation before we move on to the grade 12 work. So if you have watched the grade 11 work, what you would have noticed is that whenever I show you an acid, Whenever it's placed in water, there was always a reaction that took place. I would always say plus H2O, and then you would get H3O plus and Cl minus. But whenever I showed you a base, such as NaOH, I never say plus water. I never did that. I always said that it simply breaks up into Na plus and OH minus. So when there is a reaction taking place with the water, reaction with the water we say that that is ionized so acids ionize whereas whenever it just breaks up breaks up that is actually called dissociation or dissociate and so bases dissociate and acids ionize there is one exception to the rule but I will be showing you that in today's lesson so let's stick with the acids for now. So let's complete these over here. So as we can see, we've got nitric acid, sulfuric acid, and ethanoic acid. Can you see that they react with water every single time? And so if we had to complete this, we know that this is an acid. So it gives its hydrogen away. That's what acids do. So this should become H3O plus because it receives a hydrogen. So it becomes H3 and then the nitric acid will now become NO3 negative. For number two, I'm saying diprotic. Now diprotic means that it gives away, gives two protons. So it's gonna give away both of these protons, okay? So that means we're gonna end up with H3O plus SO4 minus two because you're giving away two protons and so your charge will become negative two now you may have noticed that this reaction over here is not balanced and a lot of students struggle with the balancing of it so let me quickly explain exactly what's happening so what we have is h2so4 plus h2o becoming h3o plus so4 minus two now, this H2SO4 is going to give away two hydrogens. So let's say it gives away one hydrogen over there, and then it gives another hydrogen away over there. This water molecule can only collect one hydrogen. So we can collect one hydrogen over there to become H3O+. But then that means we would need another water molecule to collect the other hydrogen. So this means we need a total of two water molecules and we will produce a total of two H3Os. And now that equation is balanced. So I should put a two over there and a two over there. Now moving on to number three. A lot of students get a bit confused here. Um, with ethanoic acid, it only gives away this hydrogen at the end. It does not give away these three hydrogens. So it gives away the hydrogen, so that becomes H3O+, and then this one becomes CH3COO negative. And that is it. It's now balanced. So I want you to realize, and we're still going to talk about bases, but I want you to realize for now that acids ionize, so they react with the water. Okay, that is very important. And then always remember to balance the equation. Now we're going to talk about bases. Remember what we said about bases, they don't react with the water, they just do something like this. Na plus plus OH minus. So because we're not reacting with the water, we are going to call this dissociation or you can say that bases dissociate so here we can just practice these ones so long so you just get Na plus plus OH negative remember that if it was an acid you would say plus H2O but because it's a base you don't now some students do struggle with this one so what I always tell them to do is to just say Mg positive 2 now where am I getting that 2 from I am getting that 2 from the periodic table and I'm looking at the valency okay now the valency of OH 
is negative 1. We should know that from grade 10. The valency of OH is negative 1. Now, to balance this out, you would need to put a 2 over there. It is very important that you understand that part for pH calculations, which will be done later in this chapter. Now, for KOH, that just breaks up into K plus. Where am I getting the plus? periodic table. Where did I get the plus for this one? Periodic table. Where am I getting it from this one? That's a valence electron of OH, which I learned, or <laughs> what we learned in grade 10. Um, and then Mg, positive 2, periodic table. And then plus OH, which is minus 1. How do I know that? That's just a polyatomic ion that you learned in grade 10. And so we can see that this is what bases do. Can you see that I am not reacting it with water? Now, ammonia. We, we should know that ammonia is a base. So it should dissociate. But it doesn't. It ionizes. It ionizes. So what does that mean? It reacts with the water. So it reacts with the water. But now, please remember that it is still a base. So it's still a proton acceptor. It is still a base. So if it accepts a proton, then it will become NH4 positive, because a proton is positive. And then the H2O will be will have one less hydrogen, so that'll be OH negative. And so the summary that I want you to take away from today's video is that acids ionize. So what does that mean? React with water. Bases dissociate, which is almost like dissolve. They just break apart. And then remember that NH3 is an exception.